Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. How is everybody doing this evening? Okay. You want to know, <clears throat> i tell you, we're going to discuss this about Adam Hawa or for uh, English. We are going to do English, not uh, uh, Arabic. But if I accidentally say something in Arabic, I'll correct myself. I'll say it for you in English. My hair is getting curly. I just noticed on that that uh, thing. Curly, curly. It's okay. Anyway. Uh, so we're going to do Adam and Eve. And Musa, Moses. And uh, the story meaning of that with uh, their genealogy. The blood. And. Special treat for everybody. Long life of Adam living a hundred years. I explain it truth to everybody in the world. Okay. But first, I set this here just to get it out of the way. Ah, uh, because I like to, you know, when uh, we are discussing the great and wonderful word of the Father, I like to eat. I have no bread, I have baked it, uh, it's in the oven, but for now, we have no bread and no wine, but we have this here, and we have this, a smoothie V8 splash, strawberry banana, Reese's peanut butter cake, and almond joy, almond joy with nuts, and a three musketeers. Okay. Thank the Father for these wonderful items. Yes. And now we are going to discuss Adam and Eve. Okay. Now, you people uh, of the earth, you go around and you read in the Torah. That Musa, Moses wrote for you in the Torah. I like to correct this. I like to say this to everybody. Which is fact. Moses wrote it in the Torah for you. We have the, um, the originals. And men decide to read it. And they interpret it for you. And you followed it. Hey, it's not your fault. But I'm going to correct everybody. After all, what good is a con if he does not tell the truth? Yes? What good is a shepherd if he's a liar? Right? No. Moses wrote down in the uh, Torah for you. He said that in the, in the Garden of Eden, there was a tree of good and evil, the knowledge of good and evil. This tree that contains fruit of knowledge of good and evil. Meaning this. Is it good for me to walk up to someone I don't even know and smack them in the face as hard as I can with my fist? Is that good or wrong? Right or wrong? It's wrong. So we have a knowledge. And with this knowledge, we also have a choice. You choose it now. Now you know the knowledge. Now you're going to go do what you do. Yes. So you're eating from this fruit. Every day you wake up, you eat from this fruit. In this tree, they say that in this tree, the, and I have to say this to the imams. Imams, oh, I'm sorry. Imams in the, for English Christian, for this is for the whole ummah. It's not just for Muslim, only for the Hindu. Oh no, only for the Christian to hear. No, no. I have the call for the. I stand in the temple for you, for God. Therefore, this for everybody, for the holy land of peace, is for everybody. So, anyway, they say at the street there is a thing that you uh, call a serpent. 
I tell you the word serpent, the translation of Hebrew is nakash. I give you further translation of the order of Melchizedek, of course. Order of Melchizedek. Hey, this is my flag. If any anybody, I don't care, you Daesh, you Taliban, you Mujahideen, who, who, who else is flying a flag trying to claim that this is some kind of army of God? Who, who does it? And not have this here, which is the truth. The first. Only one. The first. Why do you think Issa come down with me to restore? Even the Christian knows that when Yeshua come back, Jesus come back, he restore. Yes. He's not going to fulfill. He already fulfilled. Now he's going to restore back the original. Okay. So this serpent word, I'm going to take you a little deeper into the ori real original wording of Nakash. Nakash is a doctor. Plain and simple. Doctor. If if goes uh, uh, come from Adam, this is blood. Okay, everybody on the earth knows there is such thing as positive and negative blood. Yes. Okay. When you take something out of removing blood, life, because we are creating life. Elnisa, the woman is going to be alive. Therefore, she is a has blood because in it is the blood is the life right so taking atom let's uh, be atom as positive blood but taking out of the positive blood of of the atom created no antigen following with it so the blood came out the tough the rip the mark the chromosome the chromosome came out and there is no antigen. Therefore, negative. Boom. Now, if going to this tree of knowledge of good and evil and wanting to bear children, right? God said to her, Don't go listen to the doctor. Don't listen to the tree and eat from the knowledge of good and evil don't do it if not listen to God now remember God if he want to do God can take the stones on the ground and make children for Abraham yes therefore Eve had no faith that God could have made forth children for her without her having to give birth but she felt, therefore, now that you not believe God, Alnisa, you're going to have to be in pain and suffering <laughs> in childbirth. Because you, you did not believe God. <laughs> you were foolish when you did it. But it's done. It's done. Why I say the negative and positive is because at the tree, when you read in the generations of Adam, you will find that Cain and Abel are not in the genealogy of Adam. Only one Seth is in the image of the father and likeness of Adam. Understand? These two serpent get involved with Eve and Adam and doing this uh, doctor, what doctors like to do in labs. You know, look at the coronavirus. <laughs> like I said to her, we got a bunch of fucking doctors in labs creating unnatural things not found on the earth. These doctors, and then look, the same people who made it, you give him power to these guys, listening to them, to wear your mask, do this, do this. Meanwhile, you got people in Iran or all these other jokers and smokers and tokers and jackasses saying, put on your mask and save lives. Meanwhile, they're taking a bomb and blowing somebody up, shooting a gun to try to kill somebody. But we all have to watch out for the coronavirus that the Nakash fucking made. Do you understand what I'm telling you? So you give power and authority to this Nakash and then you're following the, with this Nakash and the whole time that you're following this Dejal, the Dejal trying to kill you. And you're following something trying to kill you. 
I said this to the senators and House of Representatives. That's why you see today in America. That's why you see in them going after trying to say, oh, the doctors made it in labs. Oh, we have to worry what they do it again. Because I pressed it so much over and over and they banned me. They took me down. They, they did not like what I was saying. They took me down. They hit me. They hit me. I got scared after a while. I thought that they was going to try to kill me. Hunt me down. They tried to kill me. Because I was, I was, I was predicting it. I was telling everybody what things were going to happen before they even happened. They happened. Everybody knows it's true. People on Facebook and Twitter that had my account information, they all know it's true and seen it live and all the words that I say and then, then it would take place and I show it and you know, everybody knows. So, Elnisa is negative blood, Adam Hawa, Adam being positive. Did you know that a negative, uh, positive blood man have mates with a negative blood woman? If the baby inside is positive blood, the woman will bring death to it and it will it be out in the world, come out in the world as death, the baby. Oh, Eve, God said, Eve, don't do it. Don't listen to that doctor. Akasha, the tree, trying to tell you to get bigger boobs or to get their lips done or this or that. Don't listen to that. And Akash, he's a deja. He tried to kill you. I made you the way you are. Have faith and I will, I will keep making. Trust me, I made you out of nothing. What you think I'll not be able to give you children? Oh, but you ran off to this doctor. Cain and Abel came about. You see these characters. Cain and Abel, they're going to start around fighting and arguing on who's going to give God what God made already. If you want me to tell you the truth of what Moses meant by this, it's, it's this simple. Cain and Abel, they go up, they, they think they're going to say, oh, we're so smart and wise. We're going to, uh, I'm going to give the first leans of, of my flock to God. And then the, uh, Abel said, oh, I'm going to give the first fruits of my garden to God. Who make it, who make the flock? Who make the garden? He sure God accepted blood, but blood. Why he accepted blood? Now I'm trying to explain to you the blood thing. Because if he want to, he made it. He make it. He don't need your your sacrifice. He made it itself. He don't need your sacrifice. In the cash. So Cain and Abel, Abel die. Cain runs off and lives amongst the Nakash's ways, the Canaanite mind frame. He runs off and does this. So now you have Adam and Eve in their sin, in their state of, of, of wrongdoing, totally not believing in God, not trusting in God, not understanding anymore because they ate from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they're choosing to do bad. Knowing the good and the bad. You're choosing bad path. Just like religions of the world. Everybody, you get to go choose. Go choose with one. There is flocks of many folds. Many sheep of all different kinds. We all know that. Look at our bodies. Look at ourselves. We are many sheep of different kind and we all go in different folds. I tell you this truth. Every fold has a truth in it. The Torah is a truth. The Quran's a truth. The, the Bible is a truth. Everything in the different folds that the great father has made is a truth. Fact. Now, let's put it all together and you see the greater truth in it. The oneness of it all. So here we go and we get in Adam and Hawa. Adam and Eve and they have another son, the third son. This son becomes an image and likeness of Adam. An Adam who is also in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, this Seth is what they talk about, son of gods. Mated with daughters. Daughters being those of the Canaanite frame. Creating the Nephilim. Not these crazy guys talking about aliens and angels having sex with human beings. Get out of here with your crazy nonsense. Get out of here. 
because if this is where it's uh, deriving from, then I'm just exposing your, 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 your dumbness. Even God wants me to get this, give me this set. Hit them with the staff, he said. Grab it and hit them. Hit them in the head with the staff. Get out of here with that crazy nonsense about that. First of all, angels are made from fire. <laughs> the ones that you are talking of, the holy ones, they're fire. You know what fire would do to a carbon based? Well, you know what car fire does to carbon based. It burn you. Stand back. The land, this place is holy. Get away. If you come close, you may disintegrate because God is so holy, right? Understand that. So anyway, so he has a son, Seth. Seth is the <clears throat> good son that God gave. Create, right? And so God did this one. Nakash did the other one. God did this one. So in doing this, it says that at, at the age of 130 years, Ooh, I like this one. This is the almond joy. <laughs> oh, this is the good one right here. And this is the good this is the good story part right here for the whole world that they not know. They wake up to all of this. So that they will see even this history channel crap that they're showing. Oh, they look at the king's list. Oh, this king lived thirty thousand years old. They go into the Sumerian, which is the old I, I go back even farther than that, but I'm just telling you. Where at all you can see where stem from. Mm. Okay. Now, Seth comes about, and Seth is also because all of us now are born eating from this tree of knowledge of good and evil. So they're eating from this knowledge of good and evil from the day that you were born, you're eating from this, right? Now, at the age of 130, it says that at 130, Adam had a son in his own likeness and in his image. And because of that reason, he had a son in his own likeness and in his own image. He lived, it says, and he had sons and daughters and he lived 800 years now Adam did not live 800 years himself as the man Adam in states lived 130 and he had a son named Seth Seth becomes his image his seed likeness carries on from his father boom now 130, now add the Seth. Now Seth lives, and Seth has a son in his likeness and image, but that likeness and image came from Adam. And Adam's likeness and image came from the father, right? So you see this down the line. And this lived 800 years. So his seed image lived 800 years. Why 800 years? Why did it stop at 800? I tell you, this is the truth. And all women know this. All women know this. They don't understand it uh, biblical, like, like I'm explaining to you. But all women understand this, what I'm about to say. So, throughout this line, so the son has a son, that son has a son, that son has a son. So, Adam has great, 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 great grandchildren, son images of his kind that look like him, his seed of its kind. Every seed must bear fruit of its kind. Boom. Why at 800 is because that seed image of that kind stopped producing seed. Males produce sperm seed. When no males are born, only females are born. What happened to the females? Now, girls, what you got to go do? You're seated by what? Women are the only ones seated. Men give the seed. So the woman has to be seated by another seed. Then it's different. Now you understand. So, for 800 years, this uh, image lived. And so on and so forth. When you get to the image stops and you get to where it says Noah. 
and Noah lived this long, or it says Mephesula lived this long, or so on and so forth. They're talking about the seed image, and through the seed image, you create a time to where you get to the flood. And you create an exact timeline to the flood and before the flood. Okay? So that is the real truth of Adam and Eve. Adam Hahawa. That is the real truth about Rajos and El Nisas. Okay? Men and women. That's what that story means. Everybody else, they're telling you a bunch of uh, nonsense stuff. What is a Nephilim? I'll tell you, you want to know what a Nephilim is. A Nephilim is no more than a mixed race of person. And because the mixed race person is born from this, they become renowned. People know who these people are because it's not the normal thing. So the kings of the queens of the earth that were going on pursue, they would intermarry, and these people would give birth to this, thinking that it'd bring peace to the peoples that were indifferent. This would be the renowned one. He is the one that is known. He became the leader, the king, later on down the line. But we all see that that, that failed. Because it says that they were so corrupt, God had to what? Flood the earth. Everything became so corrupt, that's how he had to do it. So now you understand that truth about what, I'm, what I tell you about when you read that. These are facts. Now who can dispute? Who wants to? What teacher out there? I like to see the imam or the teacher. Uh, dispute what I am saying, the truth. For this truth is not my truth. This truth is the truth of God. You're going to dispute God? <laughs> I like to see you. <laughs> I love to see you try. He'll, 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 he'll make you a joke. Trust me. He'll make you a joke. Even what you think is so wise, he is a foolishness to God. He'll make you. Now that you hear my words, and you look at back at what you once believed and heard, it is kind of foolishness, is it not? It's crazy. But we, as a religious people, we actually believed these things. Oh, a snake in a tree and we ate in the apple. Right? Everybody knows these different stories that are passed down before they were oral because they had no written. And you have to remember this. I like to say this. Everybody must remember this about your religions. You have to remember this. You know that your religions all came after. See, there's an original religion. This is original. Right here. The ones after the Tower of Babel, what, what happened at the Tower of Babel? Your language became what? Confused? Everybody, it's confusion. That's what it says. Everything is confusion. God confused you. So you think that in your language of your confusion, that you're reading, you're interpreting these fucking words, you're right. You are in a state of confusion with your own tongue. And then I, when I speak in different tongues to you people of the earth, you will understand what I mean by your state of confusion from the time of Babel up to now. So, I do not mean to be uh, angry. I get angry because uh, I know I've been fooled myself. I was fooled myself until God uh, one day, you know, I don't, he tell me. It's he, he just, boom, this is it, he says. Why he tell me and no one else? I don't know. Hey, I don't know. For people who not believe in who I am, why do I know some things that no one else knows? You know, I spent, this is truth, and I, I, I don't like it to, uh, to tell people because it's embarrassing, but this is truth. When I was young, I got taken from my parents. The government took me when I was little. Uh, right before that 1979 uh, thing take place, <laughs> you know that 1979, Imam Mehdi, right before that take place, I, I get born, I was born 77. 78, 79, that time that take place. After that, boom, I get taken away. Shoo, shoved away. Maybe you people, maybe, maybe those uh, leaders 
you know, they go around, they got these pieces of paper and they reading and they have things in them that they say, oh, they know who I am. You know who I am. And then maybe some things they do. Or maybe they don't even know who I am. And they're lying, trying to say, oh, we have other documents to say who Imam Mehdi is. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they lie. It's not the matter anyway. I'm here. I'm speaking for myself. Forget the those guys. They're all state of confusion to begin with, like I say. So, I get taken. And my whole life, you know, you imagine, three years old, I, I had a mom and I had sisters and stuff, and then all of a sudden, boom, I take it and I put it over here, boom, you now you're here, and now this is new to you. And this, this is your new mom, new dad, or these are your authority figures, this is what you do. Can you imagine? Three, four, five, six, seven years old. I tell you this truth. When I learned how to read books, I did not stop reading God's Word. <laughs> I'm not lie to you. I tell you this. I cannot put it down. Reading all of those wonderful prophets, all of, all of his friends, all his companions. Like the, now you understand, they're not my companions. These are his companions that I get to be a part of. I am just a worm. No good. I tell you the truth. No good. But ever since then, I, like I said, I, I spent my days in my room. I was not normal. Sure, I played sports and I did all these things. But when it came to what the normal... Hey, I never drive a car. I not have a car. I don't own a car. Don't have a license. How old am I? I'm old. I look young. Uh, I, I told you when I was born. You not believe When I am 60 years old, I am going to look like I am now. <laughs> you people will be tricked. You'll be like, what in the world? That's, I remember this guy 10 years ago, 20 years ago. He not age. He's the same person. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. So, that's all I did was read. And I would imagine and... Those uh, in those books because you know I'm scared. From that time time on, I'm scared of people and and everything. I don't. I just don't trust humans. I not, it's just weird. It's a it's different to for me. Let me just say this. Uh, and during this time though, I get to go and experience all sorts of kinds of things. I do do this. But like I said, since the first time I got to read, I read the Word of God. And I said God. I want to know what your word is. Plain and simple. And uh, he answered me. And because he answered me, I give what he give me, I give him to you. That's all. That's it. I am no special person. I am no Allah. I just have a, a truths that would make the world a better place if you knew it. That's it. And then, then maybe I can go and uh, hide away <laughs> again. Go away. You know, because my nerves, I am nervous. Like I say, I have taken it away. I am scared. I'm scared of human beings. And I remember when the police took me when I was a little kid. They take a teddy bear and they, where it was, I'm scared to death. Eh, to this day, I see a lights are red and blue. Uh, there's a weird shockiness that comes into my body to this day that's why I hate I hate a uh, uh, anything that is a uh, drama like crazy in a manner if it's not fun you know if you're just having you're wrestling you know fighting you know martial arts something like this you know this is for fun this is learning fun and then that's good but you know this the, the other drama no I it is it's a making me run. Make me run, I tell you. It make me hide and run away. Can't stand it. And I know that it stemmed from that time period. 
what you human beings did to me. It was crazy. You people voted it all in. You people did it. You, you, you instigated your laws, your statutes, your ordinances in order for these types of things to take place. I have much to say on that issue, but not, not for you, that. Here I just want to give basic truths so people will know, hey, I am who I am. For you are going to hear even greater things than what I just said here to explain to you where blood came from. How do we have negative and positive blood? Now you doctors know. Even the Nakash did not even know that because they are not God. Now you know. Because the one who made it is the one who made it. And he did it, therefore that's how he did it. The doctor not even do it, he don't, he don't know. Uh, and you now you know about the real age. How can Atom really live a hundred years? And the reason I tell you this fact, truth, is because if you read it and the flood take place, you read that flood story. Genesis 6, uh, verse, uh, what, a uh, little bit later, it says, it says this, my spirit will not strive with man, for he also is flesh. I will number him 120 days, or years, 120 years. Maximum 120 days, I mean, with your red blood cell. Oh, is that a little more than you know? 120 days is your red blood cell. It dies. It has to make more. 100, every 120 days. You live only, you can't live over 120 years. Yet, Adam lived 130. Ah, now you see the truth in this. And you all these teachers that are telling you lies, stop it. Now you can teach them true truth. Hey, I, I have more. I have more for the people uh, so that when you go to your... Uh, don't get me started on your fancy buildings. <laughs> this is a temple. The spirit that lives in it is living. And the spirit is, uh, that lives in it gives you life. Okay, so your buildings, you go right now, when you go to your buildings, maybe then you are get to hear the truth now. And, and until, you know, a greater truth than even that is going to come about. You'll see. For those that were before me, they had their truths. They are passed away. They are not among the living. Therefore, if you are not among the living, God can't be your God. God is only the God, the living, not the God of the dead. Therefore, what is going on now in the, amongst the living of the earth right now? Who is in it? And I'm telling you, I am here and I am in the living. And I'm giving you living word that come directly from the living spirit. That come directly from the living God. Fact. There's only one. The most high God. In this order. Right here. Okay. I bring you more later on. But for now, that's a good morsel, huh? Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends.